and welcome to my Plasma Zombies Garden Warfare 2, the ultimate plants tip guide. This is going to be a little tip video for plants, next we're going to be zombies and stuff, but not in this, it's just plants, so I'll tell you tips and all plants moves. Alright, so if you enjoy, and let's get right to the video. So first up, you get citron. So citron is a um, pretty sure more of a fighting type of plant. Now I'll show you him. His, his first attack is the orange tree. As you can see here, guys. It's very cool, but it does have a cooldown. So you got to be careful. If you're using this, I would say use it a bit like behind. Don't charge in and use this attack because it went under perfect for you. Because uh, yeah, uh, but I really liked like, it. It does two damage, but as you can see, it's really good. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, at closer range, it does more damage. So you can see that, but um, it will need a cooldown eventually. But headshots, headshots do ten damage. So I guess I've never done this video before. So yeah. So that's his basic move. Now his first attack, the EMP. So this attack um, is a stun thing. So if you shoot at the zombie, they get all stunned and you can hit for maximum damage. You see that? So it's that's very good if there's like, say, um, the imp about to do his crazy mech attack, you can stun him to stop him. It, it's very good and then you can do a lots of scandering route damage. Next attack, is the citron ball. So this is a very good thing for moving. This is probably one of the best movement. It doesn't have a time limit, you can just keep rolling. The um, number one is just a speed up. You just go way faster than anything in the game. Like seriously, I'm pretty sure this is the fastest plan. And as you can see, I got hit, but you can just roll. And for his number three, it's a very cool roller attack, see this? Boom. There's scanner damage. Then you can go out. Just the job. So if you're getting to attack, you could just do that. Hi. Well. Uh, it's too hard to them to catch you. And if they get it ching up, just go even further. For that. Just gave up. Alright. Next attack is the Sotra Shield. Now this is a very good defense mechanism. You can still shoot through it as well. See? It's very good. So, pretty sure there's no timer on this. It's a big shield, but it takes up a lot of your view space. So, so it, it does block attacks, as you will see. I can get attacked. Come on, attack me. Attack me. As you can see, if you're shooting someone, it will block the attacks, but it, I don't know it goes away. <laughs> and there. So that's... So, sorry guys if I'm being a bit like... This should help you. Oh, uh, I've never done one. But anyway. Yep, so that's Citron right now. I feel like he's pretty cool. Tips for him? A tip? I would say maybe a bit forward. I would say like two back like that, otherwise it would be really hard to hit people. But maybe over like that. See that one guys? You could just I'm pretty sure he's better with support fire. But he's very good at attacking. And you can charge in like a boss. You can't go on the ball with the shield, don't do that. I've done it once and it doesn't work. Yeah. If you're getting too much attack and you don't have your close and thing, kill him. Bum, 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 bum. Very good. So that's my tactic. Is to try. Next plan. Alright. We got Rose. Now remember, guys, I won't be using variants. These are just skins that I made. Or got. Look. So, first up, Rose. She's more of, I think, support. She's definitely more of a support. Her attacks won't do too much. Which they do do quite a lot of damage. But I wouldn't say charge in as Rose because she's not really the charge in kind of plan. Her first attack is um, 
that, it slows everyone down, and I'm pretty sure you do a bit more damage. Oh, see, you're getting attacked. Just that. See, I'm not doing too much to him. So, and then the second attack, if you're taking too much damage, you could just turn into this, the arcade Echidna. Enigma, who's Echidna? And just can click, stop. Doing a bit of scandering my damage. And number three is really cool. Third one, it is. Uh, improved? Did it work? I missed! Alright, number three is really good. Let me just. Uh, see, she's not too good at. She's too good now, but I can stun them. And then run, run away. Little tip. Oh, next time I die here. Oh, never mind. I'm good. I'm good. Just waiting for our moves to charge up. Remember, she's not really the best at charging. But if you still want to do some scandering right now, oh, seeing getting attacked, they can't hit you in this. So, if you really need to, you just run. And the third one, if I can use it, if no one else is killing me. Bye -bye. Okay. Well, I am an idiot. <laughs> Come on, back here. So tips, before at least I can use my third attack, it will turn people into a goat. That goat ability is very strong, uh, let's say use it. Uh, it, it, it's like a stun thing. It will stun them, they won't be able to attack you. It's very good. Bop, 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 bop. Is OBS still recording? Yes, it is. Yeah, but it's like a stun attack, it won't hurt you. Well, wait, well, yeah, they, they can hurt you, but they'll be... Thing. Watch this, ready? Bop. I keep missing, but you, you get it. They'll turn into a goat, but they can still attack. Tips? I don't really have a tip. I don't play as much, but I'll just stay, stay back and don't really charge in. She's not really the charge in type of plan. Next plan. Got corn. Colonel Gorn, he is a very good character, guys. You want to fight with him. He is good. This is a guy, so here's the Cop Busters, which is a normal attack. Very strong. Bop, bop. Um, see that? See that guy? Whoop. It's very strong. Look at that scanner. Look at that damage! Right, his first attack is an air strike. Well, this is the big, big butter, but it works exactly the same, guys. You put it down, and then the plates will come, and a hundred little corns will spawn. But I have a stupid little move on that changes that. Sorry, guys, about that. Forgot to get rid of that move, but it's basically the same thing, but my one's just bigger. So, yeah, don't worry, guys. It will be the same for you. Alright, your next attack is number two, which is the crazy, um, like, cool attack. I don't know what it's called, but watch this. See, there's annoying people, and they're about to kill ya. Oh no, oh. See that? Well, it, it's so good. And then, game and then. That's what that attack is. It's very cool and I love it. Another attack is the third one. Um, if you know the ZPD, you'll like this. I missed it, but yeah, it's like the ZPD, but two of them. It's very powerful. Nice strike. Oh no, I'm taking too much scattering guard damage. And look at that. Just, just insta dead. Right, that's cord. Tips for cord. I would say he's a pretty chargy character. You can definitely do some scattering that damage with him. Can you see that? There's some annoying people. You can definitely help them. You can get a lot of kills with this guy. He's like, he's one of the best. Oh no! <laughs> Look at that, my teammates are talking. Yeah, and also if you want to move to places quicker, you could just go like that. Very cool. And also with the air strike, if you look up, yep. You can see the planes. It, it's very cool. Look at them go. Okay, 
yeah, eight, and then I just despawn. Yeah, that does like two. Yeah, so I just sort of zip the next character. Bistro. So sorry guys, I'm not being very good. I've never done one of these things. I'm not a review person, so you gotta understand that. I'm doing this for fun, because I saw people doing it, and I, th I wanted to do one for PBZ. God, more fun, because it's my favorite game. Oh, Alright, pea shooter. Oh my gosh. His normal attack, the pea cannon. It, it, does, uh, it does a lot of damage for headshot 39. He's a very strong, probably one of the best. Like, look at this damage. Oh gosh, and there's an imp mech. Oh yeah, Gatling P. Since there's a mech here, it is very strong against mechs. As you can see that. The Gatling P is the best against mechs. So if there's, if there's a massive imp mech, you're, if you're a pea shooter, Save out your gatling pee and just just fire away at that thing. Because you saw like that damage is insane. You can't move in the gatling pee. Don't try to move in the gatling pee. You cannot. But if you what the heck is that? If you um go to the gatling pee without shooting, you can go out of it again and save it up. It won't like run out because you haven't shot. But if you take a shot and then go out of it, it will have to recharge. And this thing's so good. Then we got our first attack, the chili bean bump. I see zombies, well, it's a grenade. <laughs> Very good. And the third one is just to run and jump really high. This is good for getting on high, like this. To get on high and then go on a Gatling P. Look, I'm in a Gatling P. If I go out without shooting, I still have it. It's very cool. But now if I go out of it, I'll lose it since, you know. But thank well, look how easy this is. You can just save any one of it. It's probably one of the best stacks. Is how P and if you don't want to finish it, don't worry. You can just get out of it. So yeah, that's P shooter tactics. I would say just stay on high ground to be honest with him. He's a very good high ground person. And if you want to charge, you can. As you can see up here, he does a lot of damage up high ground. You can throw good shades. Look at that. Imagine that. Oh my gosh, I actually did hit him. Oh, okay, yep. But I don't know how good he is against a superhero. It turns out, he's very good. Oh, see, if, and if you're about to get killed, just just get out of here. Or, you could be a savage, and go on Gatling P, and kill those people, and then just run, if you wanted to do that. So tip with him, you can charge if you want to, but I like to stay up in high ground and just start going in a Gatling P and just giving support fire. I really like doing that. Check, checks one Chomper. I think a lot of people need help with this guy because um, he's close range. He's not a ranged character, so people might be thinking, oh, is he gonna be good? Yes, he is very good if you know how to get this tip. So his normal attack is a chomp. As you can see, it, it does a lot of damage. Like, look at this. And that does so much. Chomping, and if you go behind someone, exactly, you can eat what they have. You go behind them, just click, and bam. So all you do is click. You just click the chomp button, how you normally do, like that. You just click it. So next attack is not getting shot in on fire. Is the first attack is the owl? Is shooting spits at people, like some sludge at people. This will slow them down, make it easier for to attack. Very good. Second attack, probably my favorite. The burrow. You can stay still first, and if you move around, click, boop, and need him. See his little hand. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> so that's a chump thing. So chump is actually really. Ow! Was that a CPD? Just in my face. Alright, third attack. This is just spike weeds, so if there's annoying people coming to you, you just put down some spike weeds. Um, I don't know if an NPC was gonna walk in a spike weed. To be honest with you. Pretty sure I can scare them running in into running into it. Alright, get in there. Oh look, he got stuck in it and he died. Oh. Also, no, uh, but if you try to eat someone with armor on, they will lose the armor, but they will still remain alive, as you can see him here. So you can just eat him again. So yeah, Chomper is very good. Probably one of my favorites. He is just so cool. Yeah, 
uh, tips of Chomper, don't rush it alone, you need teammates with Chomper, you can't, uh, he's more of defending, if you rush in with Chomper, you're gonna die, because if he eats someone, he has a cooldown, like, watch, if I eat someone right now, uh, I can't click, I'm clicking right now, and I'm eating, I can't do anything, but then, got better, and then he can start fighting again, <laughs> it's very good for, like, aftermath and stuff, next plant, Alright. So, next blunt, next blunt, next blunt. Wee. Hope you guys are enjoying this and it's helping you. That's all I really want to get. Know how to play a lot more. Alright, Sunflower. Sunflower is a support character, but don't think they're just good at staying back and doing nothing. No, it's not like that. This one. This is a support character that can fight. Not insanely, but look at that. It does have, it has 50 sun pulses. And it's pretty good. As you can see, reload isn't even that long either. So first attack, as you can see right now, I can, well, they're not really damaged, but I can see all my friends' health. I can see their health and if I click one, I can. Oh, God, get away from me. I need to show them how to heal. If I click one, I can start healing them. So this is like. I can just like revive them. Well, not revive them. You can obviously revive them. Also, yeah. Um. I can see their health. And you just get them better health. It's very good. And uh, Sunflower's the only one who can see HP. So it, it helps a lot. In, in, so you know what teammate needs that health. And I really like it. Look, see, this dude would have been dead, but he is dead. It's not the best, but I'm dead. See, Sunflower really isn't the best charging character, because it's a Sunflower. If you need to run, you can. Um, also, another thing of Sunflower, when you revive your teammates, it will be faster, since she's a, she's a um, support class. She, she will revive way faster. So, keep that in mind. It's very good faster things all right second attack is the sunbeam if you want to attack as a sunflower stay back and shoot uh, watch this see this guy see him yeah yeah he's low and he's dead yep and that's a sunflower this is a support character by the way a support character so it's exactly like the pea gatling if you get out of it um while you're shooting you will get Thing. And what if you need healing yourself? Well, you can just go behind a wall and boop, put that down. And you touch those little suns to heal. This is your little pot, and you can heal it as well. If it ever gets damaged by the zombies, because they will definitely try to kill these things. Oh, as you see, he's just coming over trying to kill it. <laughs> see if I'm low, grab it, and heal it. So yep, some pulses quickly say it's peak addling. You don't shoot, you can get out of it and it saves it. But if you shoot, get out of it, it doesn't. Those things do despawn. So tactic, I'd for sunflower, I'd say stay near a teammate while you're playing as a So you can just guard a teammate. Or if a teammate ever needs like help, yeah, you can just charge. It's very good and I like it. You also can't obviously come rows from miles away. You can only heal people from if, you, if you're really close. Enough. Cactus, the sniper class for the plant team. This is actually a really cool character. We've got the spike shot. As you can see, this one it, it, it's exactly the same as the scope. It's just so yeah, they it, it's semi-automatic. <laughs> Cactus is semi-automatic. Yeah, it's not done though. And oh my gosh, yep, this is a fun sunflower using a sun pulse right there. Um, and as you can see, you shoot the knight for some scampering rat damage. Look at that, dead. Dead, dead, all dead. Uh, it doesn't have too much shots, 12 about, about 12. And um, it, it does some good damage. You need to be pretty accurate with sniping, sadly I'm not, but look at that 30 damage. That's good. And it's range, obviously, it's a sniper. It can shoot miles away. Good. 
does take a while to reload it. But <laughs> look at that. That he has a shield. That's no problem for me. Sniper rifle. Look at that. Dead. It's dead. So Sniper's very good at staying back. What I really like about Cactus, the Sniper is very good at, what did I say? So yeah, Cactus is very good at staying back. Uh, you can put little potato mines, and if so obviously it's mines, if a zombie touches those, not your teammates, so your teammates can easily touch them. What are you doing, boy? Yeah, if a zombie touches those, and badly, it will very, it'll end very badly. They'll blow up. It's a one shot kill, no matter what you do. Like it's a one shot kill. Very powerful. Look, they're doable as well. All right, next attack is the. Well, I'm gonna show you them, and then you can also place more down when they recharge. You can put down potato um shields. So if you wanna do some suppressive fire. Could go back things, but you can destroy them. Your own team. Oh look, today someone just they just stepped out the potato mine. Oh god, think of them. They he st look at them. <laughs> you see that? He stepped out the potato mine. Yeah, you can accidentally shoot your own. This gives you some um good just shooting ability. Uh, y your head does peak, so you could go like right that one. So it's not really the best, but what I like doing is like that. Putting potato mines in front of it. And you can destroy them, even your own team. Sadly, if you can, your own team can destroy them, sadly. But it is very cool. Now, next attack is probably the coolest one the garlic drone. So, as you can see, that's me controlling it. And there we go. This is a, a drone. It's a guard drone, and it, it shoots, as you can see, it does some nice standard damage for aerial support. This is very good for a sniper class, but as you can see, its health only has 5 HP, so you don't want to go like, you don't want to do that, because if you do that, I only did it because these are against bosses. If those real people, everyone knows, even in the sky, they don't want any to do with that, because that will happen. Its second attack for the garlic drone is very cool. It shoots corn airstrike missile. I don't know if there's even planes you can't pick up. Probably not though. Uh, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. And if you want to get out of this, I don't know how much people know this, but if you want to get out of it before the prep pose just is done, press C. C? What, what, what one is it again? Oh yeah, it's E, e. it's E. Pretty sure it's E, guys, I forgot. Uh, I played Probably. Yeah. Sorry guys, but it's one of the keys you can get out of the drone. <laughs> Sorry guys. I, I, I don't know everything about them. There's so much. You know. Yeah, I, for tips, say so stay back and do this if you want to. Because uh, charging in is not a smart idea for cactus, so you will die. It's cactus, if you charge in. Um, is Cactus really a common character to play? It's not really, since there's not much sniping points in this game. Um, there are some sniper points in the game, which is g good for Cactus. But the only problem with Cactus is that, um, that they don't really, um, well, there's a lot more characters that don't really need sniping, if you know what I mean. Well, because like, most people just charge. Um, next character, which is the last one, which is a DLC slash you can unlock him, but I bought him because I just want to, because I don't, don't mind. Anyway, this is Torchwood. He is very good. <laughs> he has an infinite ray. It does have a cooldown. It's basically a minigun. The wood chipper. Uh, get rid of this. Yep. Look at that. Scanning that damage. Ugh. First attack, what he has is fire breath. I, it, it speaks for itself. It's fire breath. It does a lot of damage. Next attack, I'm gonna show this. And I'm pretty sure this is a shield. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a shield. You can get rid of it by pressing through again. And I really like it. The next attack is the best one. He has infinite shots. It doesn't need a cooldown. It does not need a cooldown. Yep, that's right. It's it's insane. Smelter grab this. 
then you can just go back to the <laughs> poor old zombie. He's very good, but he's not invincible. You might think, oh yeah, this guy, he's like the one that charges it. No, he dies easily. No. Well, that's 200 health. Yeah, everyone will do it. He has a massive hitbox. <laughs> Not as insane as you can. See, look. Look at them. Papa. Word of a place, child. Oh, look at them. Oh. Die. <laughs> so. Can you not stop? Ah. Get away from me. I will death from you. Oh, that's it. Come on. Get her around. Oh, okay, you're lucky. No, you're not lucky. He's really not that lucky, is he? He's really not that lucky. Yeah, this guy's good. You're wondering? If you couldn't tell already. He's good. That's why, bro, he can even walk a bit. Every attack, he can move. And yeah. So, guys. That is all the plants vs. zombies, garden warfare 2, plants, and their moves and tips. So tips with this guy actually, I forgot to give you a tip for this guy, is to, in 1v1s, he will be great. He is a good fighter character and he's good for pushing. But don't run into m a thousand enemies, because he's good at pushing one-on-one -on -one fights, assisting, he's very good for that. He's also good for going into someone's face and go, just burning them up in a blaze. That's basically it. That's all the characters in this game, guys. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it helped you. This is my first review. Next time, we will do zombies and all their moves. Bye.